Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here, and today we're going to find out just how dangerous molten aluminum is by pouring it on this big old steak. Let's get started. No! <laughs> so the reason I'm doing this test today is because a lot of people are always concerned about, you know, I'm going to burn myself and melt myself and send myself to the hospital when I play around with molten aluminum. So we're gonna see how much damage can molten aluminum actually do to muscle tissue. Additionally, we're using a thermal camera to measure, to measure the, the temperature, temperature of the steak, steak directly after I pour it onto the steak. steak. So we'll be able to see how deep the burns are in the steak with this thermal camera. So let's get started. Melting the aluminum was pretty easy and it went pretty fast, but we spent most of the time defending the steak for my dog. Everything's completely melted, so let's pour the aluminum on the steak. Press it. <laughs> that looks really crazy. The molten aluminum just slid right off the steak like it wasn't even there. The outside looks fine, barely even browned, but let's take a look on the inside and see if there's any damage there. Really quickly, let's cut open that steak, all right? <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. I thought it would have been worse. Me too, honestly. It's, it's warm, but it's certainly not. Oh, pfft. Barely even burned through it at all. Look at that. I don't even think it burned like one millimeter into the surface. It smells good. I, I mean, mean, out of all the things you've done before. You know. It smells like steak. But yeah, I mean, I told I you you should have seasoned it. it. What about on the thermal camera? Can you see this? Is it even hot? Hotter than normal? Not really too hot. And because my dog was waiting so patiently, we gave him a piece of fresh off the grill steak. Oh, see that? Cooked it. Lay down. Good boy. <laughs> Who's my good boy? So pouring molten aluminum on a steak was pretty cool, but it didn't even cook it. So what we're gonna try to do is cook a steak in a pool of liquid metal. And while we're waiting for the metal to melt, I'd like to thank audible.com for supporting this video. Audible.com has a huge library of over 180,000 titles. They've got nonfiction, fiction, and my favorite, science fiction. You can listen to an audiobook when you're melting aluminum, polishing aluminum, drilling aluminum, cutting aluminum, and daydreaming about aluminum. Oh yeah, so anyway, if you go to audible.com, and I put the link down below in the description, you can get a free 30-day trial to the service to try any ebook you want. I like Prey by Michael Crichton, that's my favorite book. It's about a swarm of nanorobots that are about to take over the world. So use the link down below in the description to start your free 30-day trial to audible.com. Listen to the book Prey, and then tell me what you think. So now we're going to see if we can cook a steak on a pool of liquid metal. So we're going to put the steak in the pool of liquid metal and then try to cook it to reach an internal temperature of 140 degrees without completely destroying the steak. Do you think it'll sink or float? I think it'll float. I think it'll float too. <laughs> Let's try this out. And this is 100% liquid tin and this stuff is hot. I touched the steak to it to make sure it wouldn't splatter around and that looks pretty gross. All right, we're gonna cook a steak on a bunch of molten metal. There's no way this can go wrong. Not too bad. It's not going so bad. Oh, oh. beautiful. The metal didn't even stick to it. Not at all. That's almost, that's almost edible. <laughs> we were monitoring the temperature of the steak the whole time to make sure that it was getting cooked all the way through. It's a really cool experience to cook something on a pool of liquid metal. It's really neat seeing how it just bounces all around. I think I just invented a new cooking method. Well, I think it's probably, it's probably pretty cooked. You want to cut it open and see what it looks like? All right. Here, zoom in on it. Let's cut it open. Now for the moment of truth. Can cooking a steak on a pool of liquid metal produce an edible meal? Let's find out. Yes, that is the fire alarms. The massive amount of smoke produced by searing this steak on that pool of liquid metal set off the fire alarms. 
Ignoring the fact that the steak is still covered in thousands of bits of metal, it's a little bit rare for me, and I don't think I'd eat this steak. As much of a cool experiment as this was, don't expect to find liquid metal deep fried steak at your local steakhouse. I set the fire alarm off and uh, it's not a good idea to try to cook a steak on molten metal. It's just not gonna work, guys. Anyway, that was a pretty fun video. Would you eat that? I will not take a bite out of that. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye. If you like pouring molten aluminum things, you are in luck. I've got two more videos right here for you to check out. Additionally, you can follow that link to audible.com and start your free trial.